Okay, we're back. Hello. We're back for another episode of Beers and Budgeting. And this time, we've got a really interesting beer, so stick around. Yeah. Hey guys, what's up? It's Justine with Debt Free Millennials, and this is my husband, Kyle. Hey. And we are back for another month of beers and budgeting. We are going over our May budget, and we are going to be drinking a very interesting beer that neither one of us has tried. So one of our friends got this at a conference. It is by the Marathon Brewing Company, which is the same, well, it's in, um, under the umbrella of the same company that makes Sam Adams, so Boston Beer Company. This is called 26.2 Brew. So uh, this was made or designed to be for people who complete marathons. I don't know that it has electrolytes or something like that. It's made with Himalayan sea salt and coriander. Hmm. Uh, so maybe the salt replenishing some of the salts in your body, maybe. But it's supposed to be light, refreshing. And we only have one, so it's going to be small pours today. Uh, you know, because we're trying to gear up for our marathons and whatnot. <laughs> <laughs> to be clear, neither one of us has ever run a marathon. Oh, I find running so boring. Yeah. Sorry. We both love to work out, but running is not a preference. No, not at all. Cool. Well, let's let's try this. Yeah. You know, something light, something something different. It's supposed to be low carb, tasty, four percent alcohol. Here we go. I feel like I can run a marathon now. <laughs> what about you? No, not at all. It yeah. is very salty. Yeah, it's it's got well, it's got a little salt. I can you can taste the coriander in it. It's pretty light. It's a pool you could probably drink, or a, it's a beer you could probably drink by the pool for most of the day. Yeah, totally. Yeah. Interesting. It's a meh. 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 Okay. There we go. Well, you're not going to feel that way about our budget. Let me just tell you that right now. Uh, Shall we? Yeah. <laughs> Here's what our May budget looked like. And let's talk about what the highs and the lows were. Okay. Well, first, give me the, the bottom line up front. Did we stay under budget? We did. Right. Actually, what's Quite really... a bit over Actually, what's really interesting, where do you see that? $4,600? Yeah, so this is what is left over. Note from last month. This is what was left over from May. Okay. Because we had an extra paycheck. Yes. Yes. So now we get to make some choices as to what to do with that extra paycheck. And I think a lot of people experienced this in March. We didn't, but we're experiencing it experiencing it now. So let's go over some of the details and then see how we can allocate portions of that extra paycheck. Okay. The first thing that I noticed, Netflix increased. So it used to be sixteen thirty seven and then they increased it by two dollars. Okay. Let's look back there. Yeah, sixteen thirty seven. Okay. It's not a big deal. But don't you think that's, I mean, that's $24 extra in the year for the same services. I don't know. I thought it was pretty, a pretty big price difference. Yeah, percentage-wise, it's a decent jump, but... You still think it's worth keeping? Yeah, without a doubt. Okay. All right, so $65 is greater than $50 in the alcohol budget, but it's marked as green. It is marked as green, and that's because we didn't spend any money on alcohol in April. There we go. <laughs> All right, next in the budget. Where are we going? $78 on gas. Man, gas is expensive in California. It's making me crazy. What did we fill up for? What was the price per gallon last time? Uh, at Costco, it's like three seventy-five right now. Okay. Everywhere else, it's 4 bucks. Yeah, so I think that's probably why it was $78 this month. Still not terrible mm -hmm. in the grand scheme of things. Right. Right. 
groceries, we were just under. I've been using the groceries tracker from the How to Control Your Spending workbook. This is available on the website. I will link to it in the description below, but this coupled with my envelope receipts, I put all the receipts in here, has really helped us stay on track. So we were just under budget there. So excited. Okay. Anyway. All right, so let's move down to fun money. Under budget for restaurants, fun money. Shopping, we were way over. What happened to Amazon Target Lowe's? Let's see, we bought a fire stick. I did take out some other stuff from Target. So when I go to Target and things are not in my shopping category but might go under gifts or clothing, I manually move those things. You bought a book, you bought a bunch of stuff on Amazon. I bought tissues mm -hmm. and I bought soap. Yep. And a book. Mm-hmm. And a back massager. Yeah, you kind of went on a little spending spree. And my vitamins are pretty expensive too. But we need vitamins. That's like healthcare. And tissues and soap, those are toiletries. So you think we should have moved the, some of those things? Yeah. That's such a gray area because you end up buying toiletries or health stuff from Target, from Amazon. So I don't know, maybe we should discuss moving those things out. But those those purchases, I don't know. My vitamins I only purchase like every three to four months. I don't want to see that broken. Where did 270? I want to see that broken down more. Okay, I mean, here's all the costs. But uh, what was $63? My vitamins and my face wash. It was 43 Amazon Fire Stick. I don't know. Do we make a separate category for those things or do we really care? Shopping last month, we were at a zero. So you could technically roll that over. Into well, yeah, May. you got to be consistent because that's what we did with the alcohol budget, right? Yeah. You go to the alcohol at 65 on this one, right? Mm hmm. So it's, it's over budget for this month, but if you go to bat last month, we were under budget. So you put this one in green. So if you carry over the 150 from last month, then this one should be green too. That's fair. You're right. right. They should be treated equal. So maybe that's where the running total over here in the far right column could be helpful. Yeah. Okay. Where like a red is we're under or we're over budget for the year so far. Or green is we're under budget. I think that's fair. So like here, yeah, you got the red minus 40 for the chiropractic stuff, right? Yep. So the running total for the year is negative $40, right? Yep. There we go. And guess who's back in the black for their clothing budget? <laughs> Did I not say that I was not going to spend any money on clothes for the month of May? And I did. You did? That's pretty good. Don't you think? <laughs> You're talking to a guy who's like, $6 for a packet of socks? That's expensive. <laughs> I'm a little cheap sometimes. Yes, you are. It's not always a bad thing to be frugal, but I think there's a fine balance, and that's what this channel is all about, finding balance between being frugal and spending money on things that really brings you joy. Yep. So socks don't really bring you joy. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like we've yeah. talked about your socks before yeah. um, on a different episode. Deal. Anyways. All right, we're under for gifts, pocket money, under um, apartment decor. Yeah. Another note about the department decor. I made a note here. The department decor? Yeah. The apartment decor? <laughs> I'm like, yeah, what about it? Yes, apartment decor. You see my running total has increased 
to $500. That's because I made some money from side hustles. I made money from Ebates, shopping online with Ebates. I did some pet sitting and I sold uh, actually two tables. I sold a Wayfair table and then an Amazon table. Oh, yeah. And I made over $400 last month. And I added it to the decor budget. That doesn't get added to Kyle's golf budget? It really doesn't. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Go ahead and pet sit or, you know, sell something and you can add it to your golf budget. Well, so I made both of the tables that she sold. I assembled them. <laughs> she simply put them on. And that takes cell. effort on both our parts. So you agree that some of that money should be for me? That? Mm. Mm. How about something we can both use? Like a new bed? Yes. We should talk about that. Yeah. Table that conversation okay. while we go down the rest of the budget. All right. Down payment went up. Mm -hmm. Vacation fund looks went down. down. <laughs> Stash is... So, Mark is doing so bad that I got a stash reoccurring deposit and I didn't even invest it because I don't know what to put it in because everything is going down right now. And if you do follow the markets and you do investing like I do, always remember that cash is a position in the market. It's a great one because you don't lose money. So, But you don't earn money either. Yeah, but when the market's tanking like it is right now. You buy low, yeah. right? So right now we were at thirty-eight dollars and thirty-three cents. And last month it was at twenty dollars and sixteen cents. Mm-hmm. So we lost money. I've lost a total of sixty-seven cents. Okay. Alright. Want acorns? I want acorns. Acorns. You better go. <laughs> are you are you referring to the jamón ibérico? Well, ibérico is a uh, acorn in Spanish. There we go. Okay, our acorns is at one thousand sixty four dollars and twenty nine cents. Wow. It uh, is down. It looks like it went down. Mm-hmm. And before that, in March, so it was 10.22, 10 10.96, 10.64. Yep. It's because the markets are down. Hmm. Well, I know my traditional IRA has gone down from last month, and my Roth IRA has actually increased. There you go. Treat yourself fund. For 2020. 265. We're at 265. I like it. Mm -hmm. uh, popping over to our vacation slash work trips. Uh, awesome job on your two trips you took last month because you were under the per diem rate, which meant I added your savings as additional income for the month. Okie dokie. Sound fair? Do I even need to say anything? I think you're doing a fantastic job at eating at uh, freaking Einstein's, Applebee's, and wherever else, Panera and Chipotle. <laughs> no fancy, no fancy restaurants. There we go. We had a vacation this past month. I was quite surprised at how much we spent, and I think. A big chunk of that came from the rental car, but also food. Yeah, we spent a ton of money on food. Yep. And we also spent a ton of money booking 
a trip back to the Midwest and we're kind of doing this kind of route. Yep. Expensive flights. And I booked another trip to Colorado. So total spent that needs to be transferred from our vacation account back into our checking is nearly $2,000. Yeah. So we need to figure out how we want to replenish the vacation fund. Okay. We have a lot extra. Yep. So we have $4,600 extra that we need to allocate. We talked about getting a new mattress. We've talked about saving for a second car, saving for new phones. Retirement is definitely on my mind. There's so many options, so where do we even start? No. I want a new bed. A new bed would be nice. It would be nice. And beds are expensive. So yeah. why don't we research beds? Okay. And then we'll figure out how much we have left over after the bed. And we'll put part of that towards the car, part of it towards phones, part of it towards retirement. What about vacation? replenishing that see yeah there's so many different things and I was also wondering how much should we have in our checking account I've written an article about this I'm going to do a video on it but in my opinion I think we have too much money in our checking account that's just sitting idle I think we could make that money work for us a little bit better yeah so what do we need to crack open a second beer and talk about what to do with uh, this money yeah I think we're in a position where when you become debt-free, these are good problems to have, right? If we yeah. were still in debt, this would be a situation where we could take all or 90% of that money and put it towards our debt. But now that we're not enslaved to that anymore... We get to make choices, and it's really fun because we have a lot of fun uh, goals that we have yep. and that we want to accomplish. So, cool. Maybe we need a drink on it. I'm pretty sure there's a country song like that. Yeah. Or a few. Lots. Lots. Did you already finish your beer, man? Okay. Uh, looking to June. Break pads. We're getting brake pads. Yep. That'll be an expense. Mm-hmm. It's your birthday month. How old are you going to be? I don't know. <laughs> I don't really care. It's Kyle's birthday month. And we are going to... Probably going back to Colorado. And we are going to Milwaukee. Uh -huh. So... It's going to be a fun summer. I'm looking forward to our travels, and but also being mindful of our goals. Deal. Drop us a comment below. What are your money goals for June? I want to hold you accountable to that. And if you like these types of videos, give it a thumbs up. We'll continue our beers and budgeting trek. And I think it's time that you and I go have a date night tonight. You ready? Yeah. All right, we'll catch you guys in another video. All right, see you. Bye.